Imagine a cube so massive that it could fit 20 empire state buildings inside of it. That's exactly what Saudi Arabia is planning to build with its latest mega project, the MUCAP. But this isn't just any cube. It's a gateway to another world, complete with a holographic dome that transports visitors to other planets and magical realms. But is this just a viral marketing stunt, or will the MUCAP actually be built? And if so, when will it be open to the public? In this video, we'll explore everything we know so far about Saudi Arabia's latest ambitious project. Saudi Arabia is a wealthy country known for its vast oil reserves. But the country is seeking to become less dependent on oil and diversify its economy through massive mega-projects under the slogan Vision 2030. The largest of these projects is NEOM, a $1 trillion mega-project that includes a 170-kilometer long line city, a floating port city called Octagon, and a massive ski resort in the Arabian desert called Trojina. Now, the MUCAB is the latest addition to this ambitious portfolio. Saudi Arabia has described it as a gateway to another world, and it's easy to see why. The cube is set to feature advanced holographic technology that can transport visitors to new and exciting worlds. And while it may sound like science fiction, Saudi Arabia is deadly serious about making this project a reality. In this video, we'll delve into everything we know so far about the MUCAB, including its size, location, and potential opening date. We'll also examine Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030 and how the country is using megaprojects like the MUCAB to shift its economy towards tourism and away from all. Over the last few weeks, several significant updates have occurred regarding major construction projects in Saudi Arabia. The CEO of NUM recently announced that the city's infrastructure is now 20% complete, with construction currently underway on several prominent sites such as the Line, the Oxagon, and Trojina. A video update showcasing these projects highlighted the reality of Niam's development and its progress towards becoming a futuristic metropolis. Moreover, Saudi Arabia has formed partnerships with top companies, such as Oracle and Nvidia, to implement cutting-edge AI technology throughout Niam's city-wide infrastructure. In addition to these developments, the kingdom has unveiled its latest addition to its Vision 2030 plan, New Muraba. This project will be built in Riyadh, the capital of Saudi Arabia, which has already undergone a significant transformation over the last 50 years. From a small town with a population of less than 500,000 people, Riyadh has now grown to become the third largest city in the Middle East, with over 7 million inhabitants. According to the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, New Muraba will be the world's largest modern downtown. This project will include over 80 entertainment venues, several walking trails, a large museum, and the central feature. The cube, a colossal building that gets its name from the Arabic word, mucab, which means cube. This theme of creating massive geometric shapes is consistent with Saudi Arabia's other megaprojects, such as the Line and the Oxagon. While NUM has garnered a lot of attention in recent months, Saudi Arabia is committed to developing its other significant cities, and New Muraba is a testament to this. With these transformative projects, the country is poised to take its growth and development to the next level, offering unparalleled opportunities for both locals and visitors alike. The MUCAB is set to become the new symbol of Riyadh, representing the city's rapid development and modernization. Its exterior is inspired by Nadi architecture, a traditional style that has been used in Saudi Arabia for centuries. The surface of the cube will shimmer in the sunlight and stand out in Riyadh's skyline. The scale of this structure is truly impressive, with a height of 400 meters, making it a super tall skyscraper. In fact, if placed in Dubai, it would be the fourth tallest building in the world. However, unlike other skyscrapers, the MUCAB is also 400 meters wide, dominating the city's skyline like no other building before it. To put the size of the MUCAB into perspective, it's worth noting that you could fit 20 Empire State buildings inside it. Riyadh is already a rapidly growing city, and with the MUCAB, it's set to take its development to the next level. The building's impressive design and scale will undoubtedly make it a must-see attraction for tourists and a source of pride for locals, representing the city's bright future and potential. The MUCAB Cube is in a league of its own, easily dwarfing other cube-shaped structures like the Berlin Cube, which is only 40 meters tall in comparison. In fact, the MUCAB could potentially become the largest structure on Earth, surpassing the current record holder, the Boeing Everett factory in Washington. Its sheer volume is so massive that the Boeing factory could fit inside the MUCAB almost five times over. But what exactly will all this space be used for? Entering the MUCAB cube will be a surreal experience, akin to stepping into another world. 
visitors will be greeted by a colossal dome towering above them, displaying a variety of virtual realities that will transport them to different worlds. It's an immersive experience unlike anything else, where one moment you could be exploring the ocean depths, while in the next, you're walking on the surface of Mars or navigating a magical fantasy world. At the center of the dome will be a spiral tower, resembling an anthill or clusters of fungi that rise from the floor to the roof. This tower will be a premium destination for tourists, featuring restaurants, hotel rooms, observation platforms, cinemas, and theaters. The tower and dome will then be enclosed by the massive cube. The four corners of the cube will also be filled with facilities, stacked up like skyscraper towers. Even the top of the cube will be utilized, with lakes, lawns, and trees creating an urban oasis in the sky. The Mucab is more than just a building, it's a city within a city, with endless possibilities for exploration, entertainment, and relaxation. Its futuristic design and technological advancements will make it a destination that attracts visitors from all over the world. The Mucab is set to become an icon of modern architecture and a testament to Riyadh's innovative spirit. The Mucab's unique cube-shaped design has multiple benefits that go beyond just being aesthetically pleasing. The cube's efficient design can accommodate all the advanced technologies that will support the overall experience, making it the ideal shape for this project. The Beljar Dome and Outer Cube will have the technology hidden between them, which will display the virtual worlds, creating an immersive experience. However, the challenge will be to construct a robust array of joists and beams that can hold up the massive garden on top of the cube, which is said to be the largest roof in the world. The skyscraper-like towers at each corner of the cube will help with additional support, but it remains to be seen whether it will be enough. Moreover, the cube-shaped design is not only functional but also adds a unique landmark to Riyadh, making it instantly recognizable amongst other big cities in the world. Like the Eiffel Tower in Paris or the Statue of Liberty in New York, the Mucab will become an iconic symbol of Riyadh. If you've enjoyed this update on the Mucab project, make sure to subscribe to Build Bright to get the latest news on this project and other engineering wonders worldwide. The Mucab's cube's shape has sparked some controversy, with some people suggesting it bears too much resemblance to the Kaaba in Mecca, a holy site for Muslims. However, others argue that the cube's shape is not unique and that the Saudi crown would not deliberately build an offensive structure. For example, no one compared the Berlin cube to the Kaaba when it was built. Despite the debate, the announcement of the Mucab project has generated a great deal of excitement and curiosity. The burning question on everyone's mind is whether the project will come to fruition. While construction has yet to begin, it is slated to start in the coming months. Saudi Arabia has set an ambitious goal to open the Mucab to the public in 2030. Just like other Vision 2030 projects, such as the Line, the Oxagon, and Trojina. While the Mucab may be less complicated to build than some of the other projects, it will still be one of the most significant megaprojects ever undertaken. Therefore, its completion is challenging to predict, and there are three possible scenarios. The first scenario is that construction of the cube will start soon, and the 400-meter tall cube will be completed by 2030, as Saudi Arabia has announced. In this case, Riyadh will have its new icon, and the Mucab will attract tourists from around the world becoming one of the most visited places on Earth. However, the second scenario is less optimistic, with financial experts questioning the feasibility of the project. They are uncertain where Saudi Arabia will find the funds to build yet another ambitious mega-project. Dr. Andreas Krieg, a Middle Eastern Studies expert at King's College London, has stated that, The finances of all of this are not entirely secured. CNN asked the Public Investment Fund how they intended to finance the project. But the PIF replied that financial details had not yet been disclosed. The success of the Mucab project hinges heavily on foreign investment, with Saudi Arabia aiming to attract over $100 billion per year by 2030 to help fund it. However, this is not a guarantee, as the Vision 2030 initiative has been criticized by Amnesty International for alleged human rights violations, which could deter foreign investors. Even if sufficient funds are raised, the technology required for the Mucab project presents a significant challenge. Holograms of the size described in the announcement are still a work of science fiction, although some companies, such as Light Field Lab, have made advancements in the field. An alternative solution could be to use giant LED screens, similar to those being used in the construction of the MSG Sphere in Las Vegas, which is set to be the world's largest screen at 15,000 square meters. However, the Mucab screen would need to be at least 20 times larger, 
and it is unclear whether this is feasible. Lastly, there is the challenge of the giant lake on the roof of the cube, which adds another level of complexity to the project. The Mucab, a proposed cube-shaped building in Saudi Arabia, is facing some significant challenges. One major obstacle is the inclusion of a massive lake on its roof. Not only would millions of liters of water increase the stress on the structure, but the cube would also have to be completely waterproof to prevent a devastating leak onto the expensive technology housed underneath. Additionally, without sufficient funding and technology to support the project, it may never come to fruition. However, there is a potential third option, building the cube in a downsized, less ambitious form. A reduced size of 200 or even 100 meters would still make it the largest cube-shaped building in the world, albeit not as impressive as the original design. The future of the MUCAB remains uncertain, but it's clear that it has garnered significant attention and anticipation. With other groundbreaking projects like the line also on the horizon, it will be a fascinating couple of years for the world of architecture and engineering. Whether these projects will open to the public by 2030 or remain unfinished is yet to be seen. We hope this video has given you a glimpse into the ambitious and futuristic MUCAB project. What are your thoughts on this massive cube with a lake on top? Share your opinions and ideas with us in the comments below. If you're interested in learning more about the MUCAB and other cutting-edge construction projects, don't forget to subscribe to Build Bright. Stay informed and inspired by joining our community of construction enthusiasts.